If you watched my previous videos about the diesel heaters, you may have noticed that I was a little bit un unsure about uh, the quality differences between the uh, expensive brands and the Chinese brands, the cheap brands. I also mentioned that I had a discussion with an Eastern European uh, heater supplier uh, a few months ago uh, on a forum. Unfortunately, this um, discussion was a little bit handicapped by uh, the language barrier. And, uh, but anyway, the outcome was that the major difference seems to be the glow plug of these heaters, that the high quality heaters have a uh, glow plug from Japan, a Kyocera uh, glow plug, while the Chinese heaters have either a Kyocera copy or some an entirely uh, Chinese manufactured glow plug in it. And that seems to be the difference. I did not understand why that would cause such a big um, problem if with this glow plug. Uh, but I found a document that may explain that a little bit more. Therefore, I would like to go through with you through this uh, website that I found uh, and um, give you my opinion to what they were writing. Uh, I'm not going to go through every point and every detail of the website. I will put a link in the description of this video below uh, so you can look through it yourself. I wanted to give my opinion in this video about certain points uh, in this document. Others uh, I just leave open and leave it up to you to decide if it makes sense or not. So let's have a look. It starts with how to choose the best diesel heater. Never decide on price alone. Um, I completely agree with this statement. A price should not be the entire uh, decision maker. Uh, price certainly is important because uh, nobody wants to sp spend too much money. But if the quality is not right, um, it does not help anybody. On the other hand, one has to be careful as well, uh, not just uh, to assume that by spending a lot of money, you get the best uh, product, whatever there is on the market. Um, I've had many experiences in my life where this uh, certainly was not the case, where I was hoping I spent a little bit more money and uh, can um, have this product for the rest of my life or something like this and I was bitterly disappointed. Um, this this uh, may also be true. So you really need to know what makes a good uh, product. And I hope this uh, document helps a little bit. Um, it's Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a piece of a marketing document with fear mongering as well. Um, nowadays, fear mongering is a, a very a big marketing tool. Um, I'm not a fan of this kind of uh, marketing, but anyway, um, other people uh, seem to think it's successful. Let's continue in the document. A hard decision to make. In this uh, statement, I see that basically the heater suppliers are frustrated that the prices are going down due to the Chinese competition. Um, understandable, but I'm sorry, uh, that's market. Then they are talking about the 8 kilowatt diesel heater. Um, there are other videos uh, on YouTube that already uh, discuss that topic. Um, I don't think I have to add too much to that. Uh, basically, the 8 kilowatt heater does not exist. It's just marked up uh, 5 kilowatt heaters and even the 5 kilowatt heaters doesn't seem to have 5 kilowatt. Uh, I've, I've seen videos where people tested them and they seem to be in the 3.5 kilowatt heat output. Uh, range. Mostly Chinese factories simply assemble these parts correct and I think that these Chinese companies are simply assembling these parts also for the more expensive uh, diesel heaters not only for the the Amazon ch cheap 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 ones. There is nothing wrong with this. Um, most of our products nowadays uh, are assembled or produced in China. Uh, there's hardly um, any product nowadays um, that is not from China or has parts from China. So why should that be different with uh, diesel heaters? Here the author shows this uh, triangle between low price or between the price, service and quality. Um, yeah, that should stay somewhat in balance. But the, the one point is service is not needed for everyone in the same amount. Um, for, for example, for me, good service is if I get uh, spare parts from my suppliers without any problems in a fast pace and uh, at a, a decent price. For somebody else, good service may be that uh, somebody's uh, doing all the work for them. Um, that's certainly you will not find from a diesel heater supplier that sells you the heater from eBay or Amazon. 
Um, but not everybody needs that uh, full service. So I think um, everybody has uh, different requirements. High quality, that is the exactly the uh, uh, the reason for this video. I did not, or I do not still not completely know what means high quality in a diesel heater. Um, for me, the my heater that I purchased, which is a Chinese heater, but not one of those from um, eBay or Amazon. I purchased my heater directly from the supplier in China. Um, in my impression, taking this heater apart appears to be decent quality for, for what it costs. So I have not seen any problem with it yet. Of course, I have also not really put it through rigorous testing. Um, I've not been to Siberia at negative 40 degrees Celsius, which is, by the way, also the same in Fahrenheit. Um, or, um, I, I don't know what you can do. I have not had it uh, even on big trips uh, where I uh, needed to heat to survive. So that kind of stuff I also am not planning to do. Uh, I like warm temperatures. I hate cold. Uh, therefore, the diesel heater is only to keep the cabin of the, the fire truck camper uh, warm in, let's say, up to zero degrees at night or something like this. Um, there will not be any situations where my life will be threatened if this heater doesn't work. Therefore, I may have also a different viewpoint than other people. The Chinese diesel heater issue. Hmm. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Uh, lines like this, um, kind of putting the Chinese diesel heaters down. You shouldn't choose based on looks. Uh, that's absolutely correct. Um, they all pretty much look the same. And I think even the Eberspasha and the Webasto heaters are copies from each other. Um, I'm not sure who started first. I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Webasto. I know, I have no idea. I'm uh, too lazy to research that now. Um, but I think even within Germany, there were some uh, copies being made with slight differences, of course, so they, nobody can blame the other one for copies. But in the end, uh, it's the same. Internally, there may be some uh, different parts that may make uh, a difference in the quality of these heaters. I do not know yet. Let's have a further look. The problems st start appearing later. Um, okay, that I agree. That could happen uh, that problems appear later. The problems you can see. I'm not trying to say that every single cheap diesel heater will leave you stranded in the cold. No, but the malfunctioning risk is much higher. Okay, um, not quite sure. I would like to see some uh, evidence uh, and some reasoning here instead of just uh, a statement. Um, maybe we find it a little bit later. Um, this uh, chapter here I consider to be, to be um, like fear mongering. Um, of course, when you heat uh, plastic material, it may release toxins in a very small amount. That you also have um, if you use a hair dryer, that you also have if you ha use an electric heater. Uh, that you have even with uh, uh, light fixtures, uh, things like this. Uh, if you're worried about that, you have to scrap a lot of your products in your household. Here, they're talking about every single night. Um, okay, a truck driver or somebody who's living in their uh, RV or something like this, uh, for that, it may be true. In my case, uh, it certainly is not true. I will maybe use this heater five, six times a year. Therefore, I am not worried about uh, the statement here at all. Safety concerns, uh, they're talking about causing a fire. Um, this is another thing I believe uh, it's pretty much fear mongering. I have not heard of any fire being caused by a Chinese diesel heater. Added costs built up. Yes, of course, um, that is true. Um, and uh, I don't think anybody who is not um, able to service a heater themselves uh, is going to buy one of those really cheap uh, diesel heaters uh, on uh, the internet. I would expect that people who don't know how to help themselves with these heaters um, would go to the more expensive brands and there the higher price is also justified. If you do not want to put the time in uh, to repair things yourself or to service things yourself, or you don't know how to do it, then indeed you have to pay a higher price for that. But for people who are somewhat handy and uh, they understand what they are doing and how the technology is built, I don't think it's necessary 
to add this price um, to the, the product. Yeah, and even here it says uh, also uh, quality heaters last the longer time they are not indestructible. Uh, so here you also see you need to service your product, um, which in the end is going to be extra money if you go to somebody who does it for you. The critical data accumulation, well, I don't think these diesel heaters are uh, rocket science. It's uh, quite easy to calculate or accumulate uh, the data that are need necessary to design such a heater. Of course, it requires also some testing, um, which that is the disadvantage. Uh, was of course done by the brand suppliers in the past. They designed them uh, many, many years ago and um, to their, well, unfortunate they went to China to have these pieces produced and now they are finding the copies of these pieces um, in the market. I would say it's partially their fault as well, so I'm not too sorry for them. Too many rookies on the market. Um, also there, this statement, uh, yeah, it's for me it's mar pure marketing. Um, the statement uh, that the Chinese SMEs, small and mid-sized enterprises, uh, only exists for one to three years uh, doesn't mean that the, the products are bad. It just means uh, that they probably start companies when they don't have enough capital um, for doing so or that um, there are more entrepreneurs in China than in uh, Japan or the US and in other countries. Um, this statement doesn't mean the products are bad. Sorry, but I don't see it this way. Just by another one. Um, Basically, it means um, if the price of uh, the brand heaters is 10 times as high as the, the real cheap ones, uh, why would I buy a really expensive one? Makes sense in my opinion. Uh, maybe the real cheap ones is uh, a little dangerous. They may indeed uh, cause more trouble than uh, they are worth. Um, but a decent quality one, also from China, I don't think there's any uh, issue with those. At least I cannot find one uh, so far. Maybe I will find in the future. Uh, I don't know yet. Um, yeah, I totally understand uh, that thinking. Um, why paying that much money? Uh, if you can buy 10, 10 times, or in my case, actually, it's about five times as many uh, heaters. Um, I completely agree with it. Um, I, if in my lifetime, or may, worst case, I get another one of them. Um, in a year and then I still saved the money for three heaters in my lifetime. So yeah, comparing part per part here, it becomes interesting. Um, that's uh, always what I was looking at. What are the, the interesting parts? What are the differences in these heaters? The uh, uh, control board, that is very hard to determine uh, what is a good quality and what is not a good uh, quality control board. Of course, if it fails uh, after a few uh, weeks or months, um, it certainly was not a good control board. My comp control board so far uh, is fine for two years with very little use, uh, but a lot of abuse by me playing with it. What makes it good? I'm not so sure. As a matter of fact, uh, this control board looks pretty much the same as uh, the one that is my diesel heater. The quality of the chip, a 32-bit chip, is uh, nice and dandy. Uh, but if you remember back, the uh, times of the uh, Commodore 64 microcomputer, one of the first uh, computers for home use, uh, that was also just an 8-bit uh, computer, also the Apple II at that time. It was an 8-bit computer and uh, if you remember what these computers were capable of at that time already, for sure they would be capable of uh, running uh, the program of a diesel heater like this. So I don't see a need for having a 32-bit chips. They're probably just more available uh, on the market now, nowadays than an 8-bit chip. Um, but yeah, this for me is not a higher quality. The connection plugs, indeed, uh, there may be an issue, especially um, they should be watertight. In my case, uh, they are. They used uh, watertight uh, plugs. For the heater, um, the current indeed is very high. I measured on my heater uh, 10 amps um, when the heater starts up. That means when the glow plug is running full and uh, the fan starts uh, moving, um, then I have around uh, 10 amps. But also I've seen on my heater that the, the wires 
for the glow plug are thicker than the other wires and also the contacts are thicker so um, and I have never seen that any of the cables get hot so I don't think there's anything to worry about. You see the, this long cable, for me that's actually a nuisance because I only would need a really short one. I shortened my cable already uh, and I have to shorten it even more. Uh, that's more of a nuisance for me. I wish there was a shorter cable available. But of course, if you have a long, uh, big RV like uh, in the United States, um, they, some of people have, then you need a, a long cable or you would possibly need a long cable. So it's better to have a longer cable than, than a shorter one. The cable diameter, I mentioned already, uh, none of the cables uh, or wires on my heater ever got hot, so or even warm. Uh, so no concern here at all. The protective cover um, of um, wires and cables is usually PVC, which by itself is uh, flame retardant. It, it doesn't like to burn that well. Um, it only typically burns uh, within a, another fire. So it will likely not cause a fire. The plastic shell of the, the heater, they're talking about that here as well. Um, recycled materials, it is quite normal to use recycled materials also in the auto automotive industry. Um, when you have scraps, um, then they get reground and fed in to add a certain percentage into the virgin material. I can see that as a negative point for any heaters, even though they want to show it as a negative point. Um, the heaters work, they emit a purgent odor. Indeed, my heater did uh, emit an odor when I started it, but that was not from the plastic, that was from some uh, oil, apparently, that was sprayed on the heat exchanger, the aluminum uh, cast heat exchanger. And once that was gone, uh, evaporated, um, ever since the heater doesn't uh, smell anymore. So uh, it is certainly not the plastic that causes that. Um, again, um, if somebody's worried about that kind of stuff, then uh, you also have to look at other um, products in your home that could emit the same, um, the same odor, the same substances and so on. Uh, I don't consider that a really big deal. You may want to think about that when you live in the space where, which is heated with such a heater. Um, for a long time, um, but for my five days a year, I'm not really worried about it. The radiator, uh, I mean the aluminum cast, I guess. My impression is that the uh, companies that made the cast for the expensive brands uh, eventually sold the products also to other companies within China. And that's how the copies came, started coming out. Other companies were, were able to build uh, these heaters, build copies of these heaters. Um, I suspect it's basically the same company making all these uh, casts. I may be wrong in that, and there are some other uh, companies, but I certainly don't see anything wrong with the cast uh, on, on my heater. Again, I cannot compare it with the really cheap ones, um, but the Chinese brand that I have uh, is quite good. It certainly does not look like this uh, anywhere, even though outside I, don't, I wouldn't even worry about it. The combustion chamber, they're talking about a certain steel that they're supposedly using for their combustion chamber. Um, you can believe that or you can not believe that. I don't. Um, I think these uh, combustion chambers are pretty much all the same, pretty much coming out from the same supplier, uh, most likely. And as a matter of fact, I doubt that in these chambers you see the 800 degrees. I would more think you see the 700 degrees uh, in there because um, my feeling is that these heaters burn quite rich in air and more air doesn't mean more heat uh, more air means actually uh, more cold nitrogen that uh, is not part of the, re the reaction burning reaction and this nitrogen is actually cooling down uh, the flame um, therefore, my guess, and I'm, I'm going to try uh, testing that later on once my heater is working again, uh, my guess is uh, the flame is quite cool in uh, these heaters. Therefore, and also I've never seen on any video or anywhere else, I've never seen um, any warped burning chambers or anything like that. There was never an issue that anybody talked about. So I don't think this is a really... Big problem here, no matter what steel you're using, uh, certainly you will not uh, need a steel that's uh, 1300 degrees Celsius. 
resistant. <clears throat> uh, that's total overkill. The thermal sensor, um, as a matter of fact, um, the, the thermal sensor of my heater looks exactly like the one here on the picture, except that my sensor has three leads going out. Um, I suspect that it's because of the heat fuse that my sensor has. So there is an added safety in case um, the heater overheats and most likely the fuel pump is going to be shut down. Comparing my Chinese heater to this uh, heater, I don't think there is an advantage of this one. As a matter of fact, I think mine, mine has better quality thermocouple there. We're talking about a German Herios temperature sensor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it may be uh, a German sensor, but uh, most likely also built in China. Therefore, okay, whatever. Glo glow plug. Um, this, we, here we come to that uh, difference that also the Eastern European company mentioned. Um, also this company mentions the Kyocera ignition plugs, the glow plugs. Yes, there I could see that there's a difference. Uh, this glow plug is uh, ceramic here, very brittle material and with some um, wires, heating wires inside. If that ceramic is not of really good quality, I could uh, imagine that uh, the ceramic plug uh, cracks quite easily uh, while heating it up uh, when there's high difference in temperatures like let's say you have negative 40 Celsius and Fahrenheit and uh, you heat it up to several hundred degrees uh, within a short time frame there certainly will be a lot of stresses in this material and um, it possibly might crack so there, I understand that there may be a difference. However, this flaw could be easily overcome with a controller by just doing a soft heat of the um, glow plug. So you can start giving a little bit power, slowly heating it up to a certain temperature. And then once that certain temperature is reached after a few seconds, then you can give the full power. By the way, these plugs are rated to 8 volts, so I wouldn't put 12 volts on them. I'm gonna make sure I only run it at the lower voltage. Possibly some of the other suppliers, uh, they run it with 12 volts. So maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why they break it here also. The q plug alone is more than 20 euros. Um, the ones I bought were about that price range. I have a few uh, of those uh, glow plugs at home. They were sold to me as q glow plugs. Uh, but since nothing nothing is uh, is marked on these plugs, I'm still not 100% sure if they're really from Kyocera. Um, as long as they they um, don't break at the first heating up, uh, I I don't care about it. It's it is fine, and I'm sure I can with my soft start uh, in the program. I can even make a Chinese manufactured heat plug or glow plug uh, last quite a while. Yeah, it can be quickly started uh, at low temperatures. It may take, uh, if if you implement a soft start in the controller, it may take a few seconds longer um, to start the heater. I don't think that really matters. Uh, at least it does not matter to me. Besides, I will not go to these uh, very low uh, temperatures. I mentioned that several times already. The combustion blower motor, indeed there may be some differences and I've seen that uh, some people exchanged the blow blower motor or ex exchanged bearings on the blower motors. Um, there I could see difference so far the blower motor of my heater is working uh, quite well so nothing to complain about the impeller uh, they talk about here uh, as a matter of fact I'm actually planning on exchanging the uh, impeller of my diesel heater and exchanging it just for a PC blower fan um, the reason being is I want to control the speed of the the cooling blower and the speed of the air intake blower separately. Um, I don't think the heater is running very efficient at any time when both of those blowers are connected together and that's why I'm thinking about uh, separating those. The fuel pump, okay, I mentioned already it's uh, annoying and it's clicking therefore I'm not really worried about if it's made from stainless steel or from any other materials. Besides my fuel pump is not mounted outside the truck but uh, besides that, um, I want to replace my fuel pump, so I do not really care about the material of the uh, glow plug. Other people may, um, but now that means now you know what you to look for. It has to be stainless steel. 
and I'm not quite sure why the oil pump has to withstand 180 degrees Celsius um, unless you put it in the exhaust stream or something like this um, does not make any sense to me that air ducting I do not believe that there is much of a difference between all these heaters I think it's the same material everywhere so I'm not going to get into that uh, same here for that uh, combustion air pipe um, it's all pretty much the same material the intake muffler I've actually seen videos where uh, somebody measured the noise level uh, with and without intake muffler and he found out that with intake muffler the noise level is higher therefore I'd rather not have one um, the diesel heater combustion exhaust pipe well uh, this is not really a piece I would spend hundreds of uh, euros on for sure um, my exhaust pipe works just fine the silencer indeed is an issue. My heater came without a silencer. I should have ordered uh, one separately at the time when I ordered it, but uh, I, I got a second, I got a muffler later on. And um, I will actually put a second muffler on once I put the heater back into the truck. Because um, I've seen videos where people tried two mufflers behind each other in, in, in line and it reduced the noise. Uh, again the second muffler so um, I'm gonna try that and see how silent it's gonna be without a muffler these heaters are quite uh, noisy and the bottom line uh, is the quality is the details um, I must actually say for me the bottom line is that the quality difference is most likely in the glow plug and in possibly in the motor the rest I have the feeling is pretty much the same I've seen some reports that um, uh, on the real cheap ones, uh, the housing is not quite fitting. Uh, that probably has nothing to do with the plastic or with the mold. I suspect that they just uh, try to save on cycle time on making these parts in the injection molding machine. And by saving the cycle time, these parts uh, warp a little bit and then they don't fit as well anymore so spending a little bit more time which of course is money um, they could fix that likely I don't know I'm not 100% sure but uh, very likely but um, yeah okay um, most people were able to fix it themselves uh, this problem it's also not an issue that I would consider costing several hundred dollars or being worth several hundred dollars so I don't re really want to put this uh, website down, but to be honest with you, I have the feeling that uh, these, the heaters this uh, company is selling, they're selling in the US. Um, the ex exactly the same heaters that I actually uh, bought from, from China. So I'm a little bit surprised that they are putting down Chinese diesel heaters so much. Um, there, if you go to their YouTube page, you will also see quite a few uh, videos of uh, of the manufacturing plants that are clearly in China or somewhere else in uh, in Asia. So why putting that Chinese diesel heaters down uh, in, on this website? I'm not quite sure about it. Maybe they want you to believe that they're made in the U.S. because it's a U.S. Uh, website. They certainly are not. Not even with Webasto and Eba Special, I believe that they're made in Germany. It probably is no coincidence that the first case of Corona in Germany was from a uh, Webasto employee. Therefore, um, my suspicion is they source all these heaters also from China and just sell them really expensive here. Certainly the development of these parts many, many years ago um, was expensive and justifies a higher price um, but that development should be written off long ago so now basically you pay for the better service if you need that service i don't need that service um, i'm actually like doing these kind of things myself but if you require that service if you don't have the time uh, to do that service yourself well then you have to pay the price for it that's uh, understandable and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, that's it, folks. Uh, my next video will likely be about uh, tuning my old Chinese diesel heater. Um, hopefully, I get the new pump on. Maybe I can show you in the next video already um, fi the firing up with a new pump. 
would be nice, but I still have to work on the Arduino program to uh, get that going. Um, we'll see how fast that will be. Um, that's the idea for right now. So if you're interested in such videos, please consider subscribing. And other than that, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.